I think the choices uh, facing us in the forthcoming election are clearly about the funding of the NHS as against privatising the NHS, keeping them services free for all of us, no matter what their social status is, and ensuring that we never have to make a choice between us children's health care and clothes and food and electricity for our kids and our grandchildren. I think the trouble this time around with knowing who to vote for in the parties is that the whole focus of the country is based around Brexit and there's not and parties aren't really sharing the thoughts or where they're going to go in the future with the policies and what about change anything else like with the NHS about public funding it's all based around Brexit and because there's so much confusion with that, there's confusion with who, you, who, who are you going to vote for, who do you trust in these parties? What worries me as a, as a recruiter, um, we've run first year recruitment for 27 years, is we've been virtually at full employment for a lot of those recent years and the net migration has been very poor. People are struggling for skills and I think we need Brexit out of the way and then we can concentrate on doing everything we can to make the economy as good as possible um, and as strong as possible. So. Let's get the election done. I hope people turn out. I hope they're not too disappointed by uh, Parliament in general. And then, hopefully, we can make the country great, whoever gets in, uh, once more, and, and lead towards, look at the skills shortages we've got and help our local people and local companies get better and better. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Let's hope it, uh, people will turn out.